Hi everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistics and this video is all about using whole foods instead of supplements. I was doing a little bit of light reading in this book called Healing with Whole Foods by Paul Pitchford. It's about an 800 page book and I'm about halfway through it, but I got to this one section that I really wanted to share with you. It is talking about using, I guess you could call them superfoods, instead of turning to supplements all the time. One of the things that I love to do, especially during the summertime and when the weather is nice outside, is to go foraging for wild greens. What you may not know is that that weed growing in your garden is a good source of vitamins and nutrients. So for example, dandelion is excellent for cleaning the liver. You can use the leaves in salad. I would recommend the younger leaves because they're less bitter. And you can use the roots for your tea. Another weed slash superfood that I love is plantain. I sometimes rub it into my skin if I've got a cut and it helps me heal, but internally it also boosts your immune system. Similar to dandelion greens, burdock root can be found in grocery stores, but why pay for something when you can just go outside, pick it from the ground and get it for free? Burdock root helps clean the blood as well as improve the condition of your skin, so I highly recommend it. You can cook burdock root and it has a slightly sweet taste, or like the dandelion, you can cook it into a tea. The author also talks about using herbs or herbs, if you pronounce it that way, in your cooking. So instead of reaching for the salt, go for the parsley, which is a source of calcium, magnesium, vitamin A, certain vitamin Bs, and vitamin C. Another example is oregano, which is antibacterial and antiviral. When you sprinkle it on your food, you get a small boost for your immune system. Seaweed is also recommended as a good source of trace minerals and it also boosts thyroid function. So if you have hypothyroid especially, you should be eating things like nori, hijiki, wakame, seaweed salad, etc. If you have hyperthyroid, I probably wouldn't eat as much. Now this next one kind of borderlines on supplementation because you do find them in the health food stores, in the capsules, in liquids, and powders. What I'm talking about is wheatgrass, barley grass, spirulina, chlorella, microalgae, and wild blue-green algae. These are super good for you and the reason why I can stand behind them is that they are whole foods. So the grasses especially are cleansing and they're alkalinizing. The algae, spirulina, and chlorella are a great source of protein and omega-3s. I don't like the taste very much, but you can give it a go. Maybe try a small package in the beginning and see if you can take it because it tastes really sea-y. But I guess you can say that about any of these products. It does take a little bit of time to get used to. I grew up with seaweed, so it's not a big deal for me, but stuff like spirulina, bleh. The next one on the list is sprouts because they're a concentrated source of enzymes and provide their own vitamins and nutrients. And they're so easy to make. If you wanted to take a look, just check out my video there. The last item on this list is to drink vegetable juices. Now because the fiber is removed from the vegetable, what you get is an easy to absorb source of vitamins and nutrients. However, do keep in mind that sugars are also concentrated and easier for your body to absorb this way. So, like with everything in life, do it in moderation. If juicing is something that you want to start but you don't know where to begin, I made a video up here that you can view after you finish watching this video. And that time is now, so we'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out the two videos that I talked about.